In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do a two thread flat lock stitch. This is a common stitch that's used as the main construction stitch that holds the seams together in active wear. I'll show you how I did mine to make my latest active wear. On the Baby Lock Victory machine, we're going to only use two threads, one in the left thread and one in the lower looper. I've already removed my right needle. As you see, I only have one in there. And we also have to make some changes to the width and the length. I've changed my length to about right in between seven and 7.5. And I've set my length to about 2.5. And we're also going to set the stitch selector to A. Normally, when I'm threading my serger, I start on the right side and I work my way around. But this time, I'm going to thread the needle first. To thread the needle, we're going to place the spool on the far left spool pin, run it through the top. And the biggest difference with this now is instead of running it through the far left guide, we're going to run it through the upper looper guide. Then we're going to go through all of the thread guides as normal. Now we're going to thread it normally like we would do any other time we're threading the needle. Now a lot we'll of people like to use the, um, the automatic threader. I'm not a fan of it. I feel like it's a little thickly and it takes a lot of practice to use. So I just like to thread my needle manually. Now we're going to thread the lower looper as normal by placing the spool on the thread pin, taking it through the antenna and bringing it through the upper guide. And feed it into the guide. You know, this is what Baby Lock is famous for. And then pull the lever down and there it is and put that to the back and the final step before we can use it is to disengage the upper looper we do this by using what's called the subsidiary looper you pull it out to the right swing it up see it moves back and forth and you want to just flip it all the way over to the left and that part right there, this little hook is going to go through the eye of the upper looper. It tricks the machine into thinking that there is thread in there so that you can use the two, the two thread flat lock stitch. And now it's ready to go. When sewing a flat lock stitch, you're going to sew with your fabric wrong sides to wrong side. I've marked mine because it's the type of fabric that you can't tell the difference. So we're gonna go ahead and put the wrong sides together. And here's a note. Whatever side you sew on, when you open the fabric up, that's the side that will lap over the top. So you have to keep that in mind in case you're using uh, contrasting fabrics. Okay, we're sewing with the left needle in. So this right here is your seam allowance. You're going to raise the presser foot, put your fabric underneath and lower it. Now when you're done, it kind of looks just like a regular serger stitch. But here's the trick. You're going to open it out and you're going to just pull it apart. And this is what locks it into place. The 
wrong side. The right side. On the right side, you have what's called loops. On the wrong side, you have what's called ladders. Now, it's up to you which side you use as your decorative scene. I always use the loop side on mine. 